Hi, welcome to the Fulbright in the Classroom webinar. We are so excited that you are interested in getting involved in this great program where we are seeking to bring cultural understanding to K-12 classrooms. My name is Lisa Boche. I'm a program manager at the Fulbright Association. I did my Fulbright um, in Peru where I was an English teaching assistant. And my background is also as an educator. I worked um, in Alabama teaching Spanish. So this is a program that I think is really exciting. And as both a Fulbright alum and a former educator, I think there's no better way to share the ideals of cultural understanding than by going straight to the classrooms and talking with students. So let's get started. So getting started is easy. We have four, ba four basic steps. The first thing you're going to want to do is set a date. Uh, you'll prepare your presentation. On the day that you visit the classroom, we really want you to focus on telling your story. And then after you finish the presentation and meeting the students and everything, you'll just follow up with your teacher. So in this webinar, I'm just going to go through um, the, these basic steps and how we will uh, get started. So like we said, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, pick a date, target date. We um, would love for this to happen in April. April 9th is the senator's birthday, uh, Senator Fulbright's birthday, and the month of April is going to be a celebration of the Fulbright program. So if you have time to do this in April, that would be a great place to start. Um, so we have found that reaching out to school is the best way to get started uh, rather than just going to a principal or going to the main office. We found that it's best to just go directly to the teachers. Um, you will need an advocate and a teaching partner, so the teachers are our best resource. If you don't know a teacher, uh, we encourage you to ask your friends or ask your neighbors for a suggestion. Uh, we also recommend um, reaching out to teachers who are social studies teachers, foreign language teachers. They will likely be the most receptive, but if your speciality is in a different area, you might reach out to other faculty. Um, middle and high schools have also been most receptive to this program, but again, if you have a special connection at a local elementary school or a different school in your area, we encourage you to use those connections. If you need any resources for reaching out to a teacher on our website under the FIC toolkit, the Fulbright in the Classroom toolkit, we have a template for a first contact email and we encourage you to use that if you want to have something to get you started when reaching out to a teacher. Once you do reach out to a teacher, the two of you can decide on a target date that you'd like to come visit the students and present your, your lesson. So step two is going to be preparing your presentation. So depending on how recently you did your Fulbright, uh, which could be right now if you're a visiting grantee, uh, we know that finding materials could be a challenge. Uh, you will be just a one-time visitor, likely a one-time visitor, um, and you'll have one class period to talk to students. So um, we, we suggest that you can make the greatest impact by focusing on the visual, bringing awesome photos, maybe some video clips, maybe some souvenirs from the country where you did your Fulbright or your home country. We think that showing a mix of different media and making sure you show images that portray the personal and cultural parts of the country will be the best, um, will have the best outcome. We also recommend bringing your own personal pictures, so things that you took from your Fulbright, places that you visited, rather than just showing them pictures that they could find online if they were to do a search. Um, these are things that we think will make the experience most memorable, um, and then we hope that you'll kind of organize these materials in a sort of timeline so that you can focus on telling your story. Again, we want this to be personal. So you had an experience as an American or as a visiting Fulbrighter in another country, and we want this experience to be portrayed to students who might never have heard of or been to the countries that, that you visited. So sharing cultural information, national holidays, sharing the food, um, sharing local history are all great things to talk about with your students, but definitely focus on your own personal experience visiting that country and any celebrations you went to, sharing stories about things that surprised you or things that you found interesting are all great things to talk about when you do visit the classroom. 
We also want to emphasize that this should be an interactive experience. So consider again what the students can learn from you that they might not learn just by doing a search on Google. Uh, the content that you'll share with the students is important. So focus on what you can contribute that will be unique and new. So you can talk with the teacher about some stories that you might tell. You can talk about items that you might bring to share. Um, really, we think that being transparent and coordinating with your teacher will help you best prepare and help the teacher prepare the students for your visit. We do want you to focus on the stories of culture and uh, the country that you visited or the country that you come from if you're a visiting Fulbrighter. So you're there to teach them about another place, to expose them to another culture, another way of life. Um, so that is what you should be focusing on when you do visit those classrooms. So when you are there on the day of your presentation, you should start out by explaining that you went on a Fulbright. You can explain what that is and that you maybe worked on a particular project or that you were teaching. Um, you can definitely briefly mention your project um, because that's what ultimately gave you the opportunity to travel and learn. But the primary focus should be on the country and the cultural experiences that you had, as those are going to be universally interesting to K-12 students. And that also is very aligned with the Fulbright mission of contributing to mutual understanding and cultural exchange. Again, we want you to remember that this is not really a lecture, but a conversation. So it's really nice to incorporate questions, maybe do some activities. Um, you can you know, ask them, how is this different from your life? Or what do you think about this? Or how would you feel if you experienced what I just talked about? And make it conversational, engage the students to think about different cultures in a new way. And if you do need any resources for telling your story or creating a lesson plan, you can visit our website under the Fulbright in the Classroom tab. We have a toolkit and the toolkit has lesson plans, ideas for activities, and other resources that you can use to help you plan and get started in visiting the classroom. Last step would just be to follow up. So after you have hopefully a great presentation and time with students, we recommend sending a thank you note to email the teachers and possibly the department um, at the school to just thank them for allowing you to come and share. Um, if you did have to get permission to take pictures or videos, uh, we encourage you to share those with us. We also have a post-event survey on our website that we would love for you to fill out so that you can tell us how the experience was and we can um, collect information on how we can make things better for future volunteers for this program. So mostly you're just going to follow up, thank the teacher, send a note, and then let us know how things went. And feel free to ask us any questions if you have them at the time. Um, and any information that you want to email to us, uh, photos or comments can be sent to me and my email address is lisa at fulbright.org. We also encourage you to share on Facebook or on LinkedIn with uh, the hashtag Fulbright in the classroom. Um, so yeah, that should be a really exciting thing for you guys to get involved with. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We really look forward to hearing about how your presentations went and hearing from the students about what they thought. And good luck.